remember or you've seen pictures back in 1969 of that famous almost coronation-like investiture of the then Prince Charles as the Prince of Wales done by Her Majesty the Queen when uh, he was put a, a coronet on his head which looks a bit like uh, a crown essentially. None of that is at the moment going to be happening because Kensington Palace, uh, well uh, it was understood that there are no plans for an investiture ceremony. As you mentioned Patrick, Mark Drakeford uh, said a copy of this famous uh, investiture ceremony with Charles as you're seeing on your screen now would be inappropriate, particularly perhaps with the cost of living crisis and I suspect that officials at Kensington Palace and Prince William himself are very much aware of that and how that would go down with the public, especially if their taxpayers' money uh, is involved with that. But the Prince and Princess of Wales uh, have a, a true kind of love for Wales and they are in the country today. They've been in Anglesey uh, a little bit earlier on this afternoon visiting an, an RNLI uh, lifeboat station. You can see them greeting crowds there on your screens. They were visiting local business and uh, meeting local people as well. It's the first place they spent time as newlyweds. They had their first marital, marital home there. Their oldest son, Prince George, spent the first years of his life in Anglesey, where these pictures are being taken. And they also chose to take Prince George and Princess Charlotte uh, to Wales to visit during Her Majesty the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations back in June. Uh, so a special time for them. They've also been in Swansea in the last hour or so visiting a church uh, which has many uh, kind of uh, different functions. It's got a food, food bank, it's got a, a Swansea Baby Basics, which uh, distributes kind of essential items for vulnerable families. We know the, uh, prin the Princess of Wales is very keen on early childhood development. This little boy you're seeing on your screen now is four-year-old Theo Crompton. He's wearing his school tie and uniform, and he was rewarded for, with the chance to present a bouquet of pink roses to Kate. And uh, his mum said, we were actually on our way to school when I changed my mind and decided to bring him down here for a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I suspect, Patrick, that uh, this little boy, this is something that he's not going to forget in a hurry, meeting the new prince and princess of Wales. Yeah, absolutely. Cameron Walker, thank you very much. Back at GB News Towers in London.